what is up my most amazing media man fans this is the media man and uh, once again bringing you another switch indie game off of the eShop there are a ton of eShop games if you guys have a switch you know what I'm talking about even if you don't your buddy does and you were able to kind of check out the eShop they're constantly releasing new stuff indie stuff mobile ports triple-a I mean they've got everything so one of my goals for this year is to let you guys know what games are worth it what games are not you know whether they're 10 bucks or 40 bucks you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth so this one kind of flew under the radar and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it as I walk through and let you know how I fit I have played through it and uh, you know the cool thing is you start a new game and the dungeons change. This is an old school dungeon crawler, and I mean old school. I'll show you what I mean. We'll go ahead and look. Let you get through the story a little bit. Hours begins in a tavern. The Monkey Tavern. And so I'm kind of iffy on the voice acting. I don't think it's great, but it's not super painful. Where for um. But you can care for yourself if you like this voice acting. But honestly, even if you don't, there's not a whole lot of this within the game. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, after this message, after you hear the rest of the cinematic, you can't see me doing quote unquote. But um, I do like the art style. I think it looks really cool. But uh, it's definitely old school. Comes a man who will change the turn of this masquerade. Hey guys, I heard your stories. You seem to be four strong heroes yes, four strong who hero could accept something challenging. Because I know a place where you will find tremendous treasures. Of course he does. But I have to warn you, they're all terrible. Go. But a huge I tavern. Bother to talk anymore. They thirst for adventure. They thirst for adventure. So there you go, pretty simplistic story, and uh, then you get to this this screen, which is your character selection. For those who have only really played newer games, <laughs> maybe got into it, PS4, uh, I don't even know if PS1 had these kind of games. This is the old school Dungeons Crawler, they used to have a ton of these on PC, uh, I'm sure they still do. Um, never really liked them. I, I'm gonna be honest, I, you know, if, if you're hardcore, I, I apologize. <laughs> Never really got into them. Um, so, you know, I, this was a good deal. I picked it up and wanted to let you guys know if it was worth it. So you start off with a portrait. Um, and you can pick, you know, a barbarian, you can pick a you know, warrior, different classes. You can kind of see what the classes are. There's a warrior, there's a barbarian. Uh, he has muscle, of course, you know, you can read this if you want, pause it, but um, he's the tough guy, of course, and of course there's a priest, and uh, she can, of course, do healing and different things, and then there is the elementist who has magic, um, so... These are your four characters, and you can change the portrait for any of them and change the class for any of them. So if you want to be the devil down here, you can do that. If you want to be Mr. Assassin's Creed, you can do that as well. There's just a ton of different options here. Um, for example, there I, I changed his picture, but that's pretty That's pretty much um, as much of a you know creative stuff you can do. Um, and I'll show you why in just a minute. You go over here, you can put your attributes. Boop, here we go. So I always like strength and dexterity is important. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and it looks like they, oh, they all, they all have attributes you can start with. 
so he's a barbarian, so once again, oh. There we go. So you can go higher or lower. I'm gonna give him a little more dexterity, definitely more strength, and vitality is very important. And so on and so forth. We'll give her more intelligence, a little bit of strength, and then a, um, he should have a little more vitality and definitely the intelligence that's going to help with your magic and all that stuff. So there you go, and you have your difficulty for beginners in the dungeon crawler genre. So if you've uh, never done this or you just want to, you know, I play on easy sometimes. If you just want to kind of uh, experience the game and not worry too much about dying as much you'll still die on easy um, I tried the different difficulties and hard is hard so <laughs> um, went back to normal to be honest but uh, so there's these three different difficulties you can pick what you want I'm gonna go ahead and go for normal for this particular game and then we'll go ahead and hit okie dokie there you go so you start off here there you are, and you move with the D-pad, which is interesting, and then you actually turn with the two top button bumper buttons, so the right and left, R1, L1, and uh, I had to get used to that, but once I did, it's, it's really simple. Um, so there's the, this is the very intro, and the, the cool thing about the dungeons is they change, so even if you play this a lot, and, um, you know, you beat it and you want to go back and play it again, the dungeons are going to be different. Or if you die and you go back, you know, you, you, you save your game and come back, the dungeon layout will be will be different. Not if you're, like, actually in a dungeon, but once you kind of get out of the dungeon and restart or you restart a new game. So, and you see you have these switches. You press Y to open. And show you kind of the very beginning then I'll show you a later game that um, where my characters are a bit more leveled up a bit tougher and they have more armor and all that kind of stuff so there you go now this is all new to me because again they changed the level layout which is very cool and it gives a lot of replay ability now this isn't obviously a fast game. You can kind of tell. I mean, you can run. This is running. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, but if you've ever played the old school dungeon crawlers like this, you know this is kind of this is the way they were. And you don't want to be running into dungeons because you can get killed pretty quick if you're not ready. So, let's see if we can get some. Let's show you how the inventory works, and then I'll show you the a uh, little bit more leveled up. So I'm not 100% sure where items are going to be. Obviously, if I get in a fight, I'm in a bit, a bit of trouble. Okay. There we go. So here you have your inventory, and what you do is you highlight the character's portrait that you want to give this particular item to. So right now I'm going to give him the potion, so we'll press Y to bring it up, and it says it's a key, open, common lock, so you see a key and a, and a potion as well, and then you can press X and he'll pick it up and one more time, and you got a life potion, boom. There you go. Okay, so there's the inventory, and I'll be back in a flash to show you a more leveled up, more leveled up people. Please don't be a snake. Oh, a snake. Okay. Probably going to be in a bit of trouble because I don't really have anything to fight with. <laughs> okay. Boom. Boom. We'll finish this guy up, hopefully. There you go. Okay, so he wasn't so tough. Um, but they do get tougher, so you definitely want to find some potions. Here we go. Okay. Do, do, do. 
and I am back. Did you miss me? I did. Uh, switch it up r real quick, just so you can see a uh, some higher level characters and armor and swords and all the different things you can get. This is your inventory. This is the element elementalist. That was really hard to say. And um, as you can see, he has different kinds of magic. If I want, I can I can switch the magic for this um, short axe. I don't wish to do that because uh, this is my elementalist. He's my magic dude. So he's got poison, fire, um, all that stuff. And uh, so he's a good one to have. And uh, she has heal and hammer plus one so she can heal your party, which is nice. And I also gave her a, a dagger. And then my barbarian. He's got a he can use that uh, stone hammer, but he currently has a wood hammer, although the stone hammer is better, so. Whoop. I don't want to drop it. There you go. So now he'll hit a little bit harder, and he's also got a potion, etc., etc. And you can see that I gave my warrior a whole lot of armor. This is pretty early on. You can see I'm level 2. I did play way farther than this, but uh, part of what's fun about this game is is um, exploring it and learning the stages yourself. Of course, they all change, like I mentioned before. So, and I just kind of showed you that on purpose because this is there's a bunch of traps through these dungeons. Fire, there's poison darts, there's all kinds of things that you need to be aware of. But if you play it smart, you will heal. Don't charge into battle. That's not what this game is about, so... Um, but I find myself really liking this game. I know that I had mentioned before that when I was growing up, I never really liked them. Uh, this actually changed my mind. This one, there was another one on 3DS that I, I actually really enjoyed. It's kind of fun, and it is, again, a slower pace. And you find these around, they have water in them. And they'll heal you and all that good stuff, so... Um, there you go, guys. Tavern. Uh, Heroes of Monkey Tavern. Um, on the eShop, I'm not 100% sure how much it is. I, it's not very much, I know that. I, I want to I wanna say 10 bucks. Um, but I played the demo. There is a demo of it. If you're not 100% sure if this is for you, check out the demo. And I do want to say, before I wrap up this review, this is not a review copy. I get a lot of review copies. I'll always let you know. I actually spent my own hard-earned $10 <laughs> on this game, but it's well worth it. I believe it was 10 even if it's $20, it's a, it's a good time. And like I said, the dungeons change all the time, so there's a lot of replay, replayability. And it feels really good when you you know, you know get your butt kicked and you come back and and take out the monsters that kicked your butt. And So it's, it's just, a, I, I'm having a really good time with it. I'm going to keep playing it. Um, this may be my go-to game when I just want to play something for a few minutes because one of the cool things that I may have failed to mention is you can save anywhere, anytime, which is awesome for a handheld game. So there you go, guys. This was Heroes of Monkey Tavern. Um, I would show you some fights here with these guys, but I think I pretty much wiped this dungeon out, and uh, it could be... 15, 20 minutes before I see another monster. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, when you first start, you you will you will get into areas where there's a bunch of monsters, and it's it's a lot of fun exploring. Um, but there are times when you're just kind of exploring and wandering around and tra avoiding traps and you know finding all kinds of secrets. So anyway, have a great great week and thank you guys for checking out this review i love you all and uh if you haven't subscribed please do there'll be a lot more switch content a lot more of these indie games especially because uh, you know the triple a games are are great zeldas and marios and other stuff and everybody's covering those i want to make sure to give you something a little bit different and i've been the media man and you've been awesome peace out